All right, this is going to be an introduction of Brownstone High School, the third and current last of the medium-sized maps. Not that they feel medium. I'm going to start it off by actually going into I'm going to start by going into a map from Karat site. Um First thing to keep in notice is that 37 of the rooms are level classrooms. So on each floor, uh, on the wrong the periphery, most of the rooms are classrooms, whereas the rooms on the inside of the hallway are bathrooms or whatever. Now keep in mind there's also ones labeled science classrooms, and there's uh, a set of uh, four of these with uh, one part being a lab and one part being for lecture. Pretty sure each of the science classroom duos count as the one room. And then above the lobby on the second floor, at about the same size, is the lecture hall. And then you've got parts of the halls and the corridors and whatnot. You've got two sets of stairs, one on the left side of each floor, one on the right side of the floor. You've got, let's see... Okay, it looks like they've changed it at some point, so that there's two fuse boxes. Um, oh no, three, sorry. Okay, so three locations, the storage rooms on the second floor, which are in, sort of in the upper left and upper right sides, and then underneath the right, hand, the right stairs on the first floor. Oh, and the four locations, wow, I'm blind tonight, this morning. And then similarly under the, the left-hand stairs as well. So four pretty consistent locations. And at one point they did alter this so that all the cursed possessions are basically right in the lobby. So you don't have to go searching, but you still have to go searching for the bone. And you've got a plethora of video cameras here, about 15 of them, um, that actually can be useful believe it or not, because they're in the hallways uh, and whatnot. So. so if you get a ghost in the hallway or whatever, so. All right. Let's get to going here. So it looks like underneath the right-hand stairs this time around, name is Alex Dixon. Average Sandy, blow out candle, you my fear. So I'm gonna bring on the strong flashlight, camera and an EMF. Now since we're an amateur, all the doors are gonna start open. So that'll help. You'll notice big old hawk and there's exits um other than the front. Which I believe, let's see, yeah, there's ones on the end of the left and right uh, hallways on the south side of each hallway that goes out on the first floor, in addition to the, oh, and in the back as well, sorry. So, pretty consistent. So, opening the front door, it's one of those maps where having is, uh, I mean, the paramic is useful. I didn't start off this time with it, though. But it didn't bring all the usual supplies. Okay, so we're looking around for whatever cursed possession showing up this time. And oh, we have the mirror. And you've got this huge basketball court in the middle of the first floor, which, if you get a ghost in here, heaven help you if you get it in here. And if you don't got a strong flashlight in here, heaven help you as well. Or you get stuck in here without the lights. You've got some pretty sufficient lights, though, 
in the basketball court, so. Alright. So, you got hallways going to the left and the right. And keep in mind, most things on the outside are little classrooms. Not everything, though. Let's see, in this, and it's the left side hallway lit. Here's the right side hallway lit. As I said, fine in the bone, though. That's the real ticker here. I think I heard a basketball move. Yeah, I'm not precisely sure. So. We're up on the upper, uh, the upper right part of the hallway. Well, the, the hallway that's parallel to the top part of the basketball, which can go straight and it's the uh, outside door. Bathrooms coming up on the left. Is that three bathrooms? Oops. Ooh. Oh no, the door's already off this one. Here's the, that hallway light on the the left. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the center. You can see under the stairs over here. And then I believe. This door, yeah, this door goes in the locker room. Which, this actually may be the ghost room. I think I did hear a basketball. Can you show us a sign? Where are you? Assuming that this is the room, I'm going to turn the light on here. Across from that, yeah, it's a classroom. Some of the classrooms, the door's already been ripped off, so it's hard to tell. Well, actually, no, make, that makes it easy because. And then this is, a, I think, a library. Yeah, it's a library. Uh, every room along the periphery of each floor. It's actually called a classroom. And here's the steps going up to the on the right. Oh, and there's the power box. <sighs> One of those maps where if you don't immediately find a if you don't find the bone. Probably don't want to do too much searching. Your sanity will be down to nothing.
closing doors as they go through here. Ooh, wait a minute. Did I close that door? Pretty sure it's going to be in the basketball court. Or the locker room, from what I heard. Drop stuff and we'll get more stuff. All right, what are we down to? About 90? All right, that's fine. Ooh, we got a little activity somewhere. Now, if it's in the basketball court, we do have number four there watching that with the camera. Bring that up. Oh, and I just see a ball rolling in there, so I think it might be in the basketball court. Take pills, crucifixes. Now, why it's very noisy and a little bit scary when it's dark, it, uh, drop stuff, pick up the, oh no, it's actually in the locker room, okay. Well, some of that ball action. Giggity is, uh, oh, whoops, I turned off the lights by mistake. I, oh, great, and probably just killed the power. So let me go put my crucifixes down in the locker room first. There's, I guess, one. One. Over here. But the building's pretty uniform. You kind of have an idea where doors always are. And if you sort of know the basic direction you're going in, you'll know how to get around. Okay, power's on. Drop the strong flashlight. Let's see what's that. Ooh, I just realized where I don't think there. Okay, there's camera. Oh boy, I don't know where I put my EMF. Real careful with where you put your equipment. Big spaces like this, it's very easy to instantly lose it. Did I put it down the basketball court. Great. 
Oh, there it is. And I'll set it down into the light switch. Emotions. Oh, wait, what's the oh? Okay. okay. Pretty good here. I totally forgot that I had the <coughs> other stuff on me. Okay. Drop the strong flashlight at the entrance. Entrance is a good place to put stuff. Or put it in an easy place in the ghost room. Okay, I put motion sensor. Okay. Put down the camera. Some more motion sensors. Just like prison, this can be a very tedious map. I'll grab a candle and a lighter or a mic. Still getting some activity in there, a little bit. The only thing I have right now is the video camera and the basketball court. Could mean it's wandering. But I honestly haven't played high school in quite a while, probably better part of two years. Why do you ask? Haven't I done that? Because of this. On solo, single player, it's very tedious. Luckily, at least this time, it is up in front with the locker room. Later, candle. Ooh. Got a paramount footstep.
Okay. Done the power mic for now. Oh, still haven't blown out a candle. I set off the EMF. Okay, well, let's just pursue, proceed how we usually do. Actually, I just realized I might be in the... Well, you know what? Thermometer, UV, spirit box. I might be in the wrong locker room. It actually might be the other one. Might be the girls' locker room and not the boys' on. And he, oh, okay. Actually didn't blow out the candle, so it is the girls. Which I can't cut through the gym. Uh, to get there, I don't have to go all the way around the hallway. But it cuts into the hallway that's right outside the, the entrance in the case of that. So I have to go across the entire gym. Come on. Oh, definitely. Freezing girls' room. Okay. Oh, got to check the. Keeps touching the doors. Oh, yeah, and we got fingerprints. So we got fingerprints and phrasing gen demon haunt to mimic. Drop the UV can't uh, UV light in there. Actually, wait a minute. Why don't I check the spirit box while I'm at it? Where are you? How old are you? Why are you angry? Where are you? Okay, so we we have a mimic. Which is nice and extra dangerous. Drop all that. Move all my stuff. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, was that a three star? Oh, that was a two star. I screwed up. At least I got a ghost photo.
Ooh. Not sure if it actually King Forge or not. It's outside the The candle and the lighter. Oh, there's the third motion sensor. Oh, that's a window. Candle, lighter. Yeah, Oh, I forgot to bring the crucifixes. I just realized I can't see the I can't see where that other crucifix is. Ooh, phone ringing, nice.
Oh, here we go. Here's that other crucifix. Oh. I'm just gonna turn the light off in the boys' locker room. Walk my way to the gym. Save. Do I want my crew? Oh, touch the light. Oh, no, oh, we actually did the fuse box all together. I'll turn the fuse box back, back on. Okay, power is back on. Now this is one of those maps where I really should have brought the full complement of everything I could bring, including multiple EMF for years. Okay, how is my sanity looking? Ooh, 63. But it's a mimic. I got a little wiggle room. But, uh. Grab a sound sensor. Now, since this is still considered a medium sized map. Normal fun will be 30 seconds, curse taunt will be 50 seconds, and since it's a mimic, well, it could be anything. It could be a shade, and it could be a wraith. Not my sound. Relight the candle. Freezing here. Okay, so it did blow out a candle. The mirror. Let's see. Smudge. Other lighter. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to drop this smudge and lighter. 
There at least uh really should. Put this smudge and this lighter in here. Some salt and the mirror. I'm at fifty six. Oh, I still have a motion sensor in the boys one. Two of these drop to almost nothing. I'm going to drop the mirror in the hallway outside the locker room. That way if I want to lower my sanity. Okay. Pop some salt. Okay, add salt. Camera B Where are you? Can you sh oh Oh I just hit the light Let's get our Yumi B we've got oh you should have our fingerprints with that. Yep. Okay. That means ooh. Nope. Air attack. And then back outside. You notice I was able to back paddle away from the air attack. One of the advantages to these bigger maps with the bigger rooms. Others, you can completely realize, not realize that a hunt's happened, or even multiple hunts happened if you're on the other side of the map. Ooh, the activity spiked up quite a bit. Still above 50. Right, camera, grab another smudge. Oh, 
Some salt has actually stepped in. Uh, let's see. It's almost. Oh. Oh, it used to have a charge. Drop that for later. It's a piece of a charge on the other side. I don't see anything. How many photos do we have? Three left. Okay. So, I need Sandy one. Okay, that's that door. That's that light. So that one. Later, camera. Hmm. Oh, it's the door. Just realized I don't have my camera. Oh, Sandy's below. See if maybe it popped the other one. Nope. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Hey, Alex, where are you? Show us a sign. Can you show us a sign? Can you show us a sign, Alex? Where are you? I'm not afraid of ghosts. Uh oh, I'm dead. Yep. Well, that was Brownstone High School. Oof, used its mimic. Well, whatever abilities. Hunts, events. So it did a 30 second hunt, then 16 seconds into it. It's oh, science classroom. I'm not even sure. Okay. <laughs> 